Hi everybody, well today is a beautiful, not really beautiful day, it's kind of a cloudy June day, but we're going to make cocoa waffles today. I've really been in the mood for baking all day, so today's like my baking day, so we might as well have cocoa waffles today. I am adding in, it's a list, waffles was invented in uh, ancient Greece 4,000 years ago. I'm adding in one and one half cups of flour. Here we go, it's going to be a delicious, wonderful brunch or lunch, whatever you want to call it. I'm also going to add in, just a thought, three teaspoons of baking powder, right here. Three teaspoons of baking powder. I have to find that teaspoon. Here it is. Three teaspoons of baking powder. This is used with baking powder. Now, waffles travel the globe, folks. Keep this in mind, folks. It started uh, in Greece and ended up in Belgium. You folks who have not lived here at Belgium waffles, which I'm hoping to do the next couple of days, also, we're going to be on the waffle kick for a while. Three teaspoons of baking powder. Now, the next thing I have to do is add in my uh, cocoa and my sugar. I'm taking this, I'm adding in a half a cup of cocoa. Now if I'm adding it, we have, might have to go to another uh, container of cocoa, we don't know yet. Here we go. Yeah, we're out of it. You run out of something, we always make sure we have extra. I always believe in using Hoshi's cocoa, it's one of my favorite cocos, and this is going to be a fantastic cocoa waffle. Hello, Nala. Okay, half a cup of cocoa. Then we're going to go to the sugar. Make sure, folks, you remember to add that sugar because, folks, sometimes it's easy to forget something and you're angry. This is not going to come out. So I'm adding in a half a cup of cocoa. I have to wash this because I don't want to get this into my sugar. It's such a gloomy day today. I'm wearing this shirt because it is getting near summertime and the butterflies are starting to show up. One half cup of sugar. Make sure you have enough sugar in this or it's going to be bitter. Okay, here we go. One half cup of sugar. Mix this together. You want to make sure this is well blended. You know, waffles travel the globe. And we're going to be on a waffle thing. Uh, probably most likely next Saturday I'll be doing another kind of waffle. Probably Belgium. Now, the next thing I need to do is I have to add in one cup of milk. Many kinds of ways you can make waffles, folks. Many kinds of ways. Please catch a uh, hyper today. I don't know why. Two eggs. Yes, yeah, Saturday, I normally like to bake a lot of things on Saturday. I do a lot of projects. Two eggs. Three tablespoons of unsalted butter. Mix, mix, mix. You want to make sure your waffle iron is very hot. You know, make sure your kids, you keep your children, your pets away from that waffle iron because it's very hot. Now, if we don't have enough milk in here, folks, I might have to go for more milk. I don't know yet. It's a little, that seems to be okay. Get all the powder out as well. We want to make sure everything is together. Waffle batter is a lot different than pancake batter. Did you know that? Okay, here we go. Now you have a little powder, you mix it together, not to panic. There we go. Throw it all out. Here we go. Closing it. It's going to take a few minutes for it to cook. So give it about five to six minutes. We have delicious co cocoa waffles. They are fantastic. A wonderful thing you can have for brunch. You can uh, take it to a church brunch. You can even, you could even have it for breakfast, but I prefer having it closer to the noontime because it's really sweet. And in the middle, you put a little bit of syrup in here if you want it. Dip it in. I, I don't recommend putting it on top of the waffles. From Devil Way's Home Country Kitchen, have a great day and please subscribe to my one for YouTube channel.